get your thoughts and tricks. I am mad. And I will tell you right now why I'm mad. As I sip my fucking tea, I'm honestly, I really hate this boo boo ass kids app. And I'm gonna tell you why. This app is run by some pay fucking people. Whoever's running their content violations, you know, whoever sends that notification out, whoever the fuck that is needs to be fired. Fired. Find a new one. You need to hire better people to do that fucking job because. So today the tea. Yes, I'm upset and I'm ranting about. I don't know if you could guess it by the first fucking two minutes of this rant. But I'm talking about TikTok, boo boo ass kids app, formerly musically ish. When I say the things I say, yeah, I'm saying it as someone who's literally used apps since his very beginning. Before it was cool, like before all the pretty people came out of fucking nowhere, I was there being one of them goofy little weirdos old fucking jokes on that shit because it was funny and it was funny to do those things <laughs> like it was it was fun i don't know i was having a good time i got to be lashana loved it first cosplay i don't know if you guys have been watching my previous videos or whatever but sometimes i do get a little political i don't hate myself surprise like <laughs> i don't know what you expect me to say when i see people that look like me and i have fucking fear in my life that you know, there's shit going on that really shouldn't be going on. Or when you see them, when you talk about it. So I talk about shit. And I call out ignorance. So I'm like, confusion. I'm gonna do that. I don't know. I just feel like conspiracy. I just feel like they're trying to bully a bitch. So I'm like, okay, let me just go back to being pretty because they will content violation, content violation, left, right, and center. How can a black girl on the internet? I can't say the M word. But these white rich kids can say the M word. They bought the M word on the internet before I could even get it with my birthright. Damn. Damn. And I'm African. Wow. Direct descendant. And I can't. Damn. Crazy. The internet is crazy. Anyways. I remember one time. This was like three days ago, I was so, no, not three days ago online. It was like a week ago or something. And they said, girl, you're doing hate speech, hate speech, take it down. Yo, zero like zero comments. Cause the minute I posted it, they were not. <laughs> and you want to know what I said? Let me reenact for you what, what the skit was. I'm gonna reenact it for YouTube right now. Cause it's, I don't know if this is hate speech or not, but let me know, okay? Action. Yeah, bro. Being black so cool. You gotta say the N word. Yeah, say the N word's cool, but you just get called the N word. So there's pros and cons. There's cons and pros. Mm. And that's literally that was literally the video I posted. And you know what I said in the caption though? I said, "Don't say nothing about my ashy lips." Because that's anti-black. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> that's just what I said. It's funny. And it, even, it would like minimalize hate speech because I'm like, guys, I know you think it's cool to say the N-word, but I also get cool with the N-word. And it's not fun when that happens. And it's kind of scary sometimes, especially when it's a group of people. So, you know. So yeah, they're like this close to banning my account. And I've had that account for years. Like, let me even find it. I'm pretty sure I've had it since like 20. I don't know if I've had this channel or that TikTok page longer, but I've had it for a really, really long time. Also, I've had this YouTube channel a long time. And these numbers, oh my God. Damn. My niece would love playing with that. Anyways. The numbers of the numbering of these channels are not numbering right. Come on guys. Like and subscribe. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need this YouTube money. Where's this numbering on this page? 
So if you've heard of my my TikTok, my TikTok's actually fine. Oh my god. So yeah, I've literally had the account since like 2018, 2019. So yeah, like a long time. Oh my god. Oh, I've grown so much. My channel's grown so much. Oh my god, and 300 people are subscribed to me. And I love every single one of you. Mwah. Yeah, so as someone like that's used this app for a very long time, I'm telling you, I don't know, it didn't happen, like the weird guidelines and everything didn't start happening until, you know, the app got really, really, really popular. When it hit that popular, like, peak in like 2020, when everyone was bored and at home and had literally nothing else to do, that's the point where like everything changed because I felt like during quarantine a lot of times that's when they really started to like obviously you know there's more users so they're gonna crack down but I feel like the way they did it was so malicious in a lot of ways like TikTok be a shady bitch I'll look through <laughs> I was like because even my one of my like pinned videos that was one that I had to fight to even get put up and all I did was cut these bangs that's literally cutting these bangs in a video I made ages ago. And that was a banned video. At a time, I put an appeal in, and that was one of the appeals that they accepted. I filed, I filed appeals before, and they're like still like, no, you're wrong, we're right. And I'll repost the video, and it just won't go viral, and then they won't say shit. But every, and most of the time it happens, it's a video that's like just about to go viral. Like, it happened on, I don't know, a bunch of them. Mostly like when I like do my little, like I'll change the lyrics of a song, make it about food, cause that inspires me. I like food, don't give a fuck about your diet. Yeah, that one. Originally they banned that one. And we were like, what? Like they were gonna use it as a sound. And obviously like, if it doesn't crack a thousand likes, no one's gonna use it as a sound. Like, come on, let's be real. Even if you like the sound, you're like, you're not gonna use it. You don't like it if I don't like it's like, we be snooty. But I've told y'all before, and then people on my TikTok were like, oh no, she's acting like she's depressed for jokes. No, nigga, I'm sad. It's real. I do not like being alive. But we're, we're working on it. And it's just like, when you repost it, sometimes it'll blow up, but like, sometimes it'll be a lot less. And for me, most of the time, it's been a lot less. I mean, sometimes I repost it and then it goes up. But a lot of times they clock me. I can't believe they clock me for hate speech. Me? Who do I hate other than myself? Nobody. Oh, I'm on my business. Damn. Hate speech. Me. They're mad, mate. They're honestly mad. Bullying? They clock me for bullying. Um, I feel like I'm making everybody laugh, so it's not really bullying. It's a roast. Cheers. <laughs> oh no no I don't know, but yeah I hate that little fuck ass kid ass app. I do go live on my TikTok though, see so if you guys ever want to join them. It's a good time. I don't have a schedule. I don't have a schedule for this channel either. I'm sorry, boo. But I will be posting at least twice a week. Including this week. Ah, we did it, bitch! Twice in a week! Clap for myself. Yes. I think that's all. I'm going complaining. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to drop that because I just love, like, I love the people. Like, the comment section is always the funniest part of the video. Like, the comment section is where the real comedy is at. Like, I love that. I love that shit. I feel like people are just, like, way more open to talking to you and communicating with you, like, through your videos on TikTok. But guys, I'm telling you, comment. Talk to me. I see a funny video, run to the comments. It's the funniest, it's the funniest place. Ah, oh, no filter. It's highly entertaining. Yeah. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to your girl. Bye.
Bye.